Ladies and gents, this is TFI Cat Tips, sounding rough as old rope. I am ill and done in today, but we shall carry on. Before I get cracking, though, I just want to divert your attention to the video description. There's going to be a hyperlink in there to a new channel that I'm starting up. It's going to be the place where all my future tech-related content is going to be put up there. So PC benchmarks, uh, system builds, benchmarking card applications on different hardware, anything related to that stuff is going to be on this new channel. And uh, I don't really want to pollute TFI card tips with stuff that people didn't necessarily subscribe to see. So the channel doesn't have a name at the moment. Uh, well, I'm not settled on a name. It doesn't have any content. But by all means, head over there and get subscribed before any content goes up. That will see a lot of activity moving forwards. That channel will. So get subscribed and I'll see you over there. Uh, but in the meantime, in the meantime, I've got a video to do here. And it's on assembly features. Not, not, not entirely on assembly features, but it's solving a problem that somebody mentioned in a, a video comment the other day he was like look i've got an assembly and i've done a I've, I've created an assembly feature a hole going through two parts and i can't see that hole in the parts that i've drilled through what's the crack what's the crack so i thought ah fair enough fair enough i can do a quick video on that right so you might not even be aware that assembly features exist right at the moment i'm in an assembly i am at assembly level there's the assembly panel and you'll see you'll see there's a 3d model 3d model panel whilst you're at assembly level and you can create a, a finite amount of features here you can do extrudes revolves holes and fillets and a few other bits and pieces whilst you're in an assembly and what that allows you to do is for example drill a hole through multiple parts at the same time using one feature the problem being well i'll show you let's do a sketch on this face i'll just drop sketch point down uh finish that sketch and this is an assembly hole uh drilling through all uh, let's say 10 mil and then okay so that drills a hole through two parts at the same time jolly good jolly good well let's open up that part then shall we and you'll see that the hole doesn't exist this hole down here is actually the uh, it's this one at the bottom but the hole that we've created at assembly level doesn't filter down into the part itself and that's intentional it's intentional because any assembly features are meant to be applied after the product has been assembled so it's for like weld preparations things which happen after the parts be manufactured so it's intentional that they don't filter through into the part itself for documentation purposes multiple reasons really they don't appear in the parts but what if you wanted them to what if you wanted them to what if there was a legit reason that you needed to create a hole through multiple parts at the same time but you want to see them in the parts right well there's a way of doing that so i'm going to really quickly blitz through this let's delete hole two and there, there by the way there is hole two in the browser that i've just drilled uh, if you expand it you can see the, the multiple parts that uh this hole applies itself to and you can also add different participants in so if you add a new part into the assembly you can like add a participant and say well this hole also drills through blah 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 extra parts so i'll delete hole two and I'll show you the I'll show you a different way of doing it. This might be a bit of a dirty cheat. I don't know. I don't know, but it gets the job done. So we're going to utilize the design accelerator bolted connection utility to get this done. So I have actually already done a full tutorial on how the bolted connection works. So I'm not going to kind of dissect how this tool works. I'm just going to quickly show you what you how you can use this to do what I'm showing you or what this entire video is about so we're going to go jump into the bolt connection and we're going to use the linear placement we're going to start on here and then we're going to select this edge so this is where the center of the hole is going to be this is the center placement and then you can select the first linear edge let's just say 25 mil down from there so the center of the hole is going to be 25 mil down from that edge linear edge two let's say 25 mil in from that edge and then the termination of the hole it's going to be drilled through this part here and then it's going to terminate on this side so you can see inventor's gone, all oh, right, fair enough. Right, I see what you're doing. You want to drill through this part and this part. So it's creating one hole and then a second hole here. And then you can see that's reflected in the previews. Right. From this point on, you can then you can specify the thread that's going to get used in the diameter. So you can say it's going to be like, I don't know, I'll stick with a 10 mil, 10 mil diameter. And then you can specify what kind of holes it's going to drill as it's going through the two parts. So this one here is this one here. And then this one here is that one there. And you can say, well, yeah, it's going to be either a simple drilled or tapped hole, or it's going to be countersunk, countersink, you know, whatever, whatever type of hole you want. You can see all the different types of standard of holes you can put in, and uh, you can filter the standards up there, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to stick with a standard drilled hole, and then you just click OK, and that's pretty much it. Inventor is going to create a bolt connection feature in the assembly, and then it's going to, it's not going to create any bolts, any washers, any nuts. We're excluding all that information and we're just letting it crack on with drilling the two holes. And there's your bolt connection feature, create the two holes if you wanted to, because it's not 
it's strictly not about the connection. You can rename this, you know, call this assembly hall one if you want. There's nothing really much in there to see. Uh, but when you open up the part, you'll see it's now got the assembly hole filtering through into the part. That's, that's found its way into the part by way of a feature, which you can't really do much with. You can't edit it, but it's got a little padlock next to it to show you that it's come from an assembly. You can if you want. I don't recommend it unless you've got a need to. You can explode the feature and separate it from the assembly, from the assembly feature. wouldn't recommend you do that because that will actually detach it from the assembly. Um, and if you wanted to, you can then further make edits to it by right-clicking on that uh, bolt connection assembly hole and just say edit using design accelerator and you can change these dimensions so you can say right well i want to bunk that along so it's now going to be 35 mil along that'll update the model and then it'll update uh it'll update the hole in the part because it's been driven from the assembly level so that's the cheat i guess it gets the job done uh, it gets it done so that's how you create an assembly hole and show it in the part at the same time uh, the same rules apply to all the other assembly features like of revolve and fillet and extrude and whatnot. They don't filter through into the parts they exist only at assembly level. Right, I'm going to sign off now because I am feeling like death warmed up. But uh, just remind you that the other uh, channel exists. Head on over, get subscribed to that tech channel. Uh, the Patreon links are also in the video description if you want to support the channels on Patreon. By all means, head on over there. Anything is uh, much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Doodles.